Attention, please. This upload is only for educational purpose. No intention to infringe copyrights. Learning English with subtitles G Petrol. G Petrol. Definitely a must see. Follow us. Open. Oh, hello, Gary, love. Come on in. I'm just doing a little bit of housework. <laughs> <laughs> I've just come to pick Donna up for this bloody poetry reading. Is she ready? I don't know what you're doing going watching poetry. When I were a girl, I used to amuse myself by painting giant penises on toilet doors. <laughs> Flo, I wonder. Could I ask you a personal question? If it's about the giant penises, I always made them so they wouldn't be too intimidating. Uh, no, no, it's not that. It's... But it's about... Oh, God. Have you fallen in love with me? <laughs> no. Because that has happened so many times. Uh, no, no, it's... It's a question. Does a man's sexual attractiveness go down when, when he's involved? Of course it does, yeah. Oh. But not yours. <laughs> really? You're different. You have a... rawness. <laughs> well, thanks for the advice. <laughs> In fact, I don't know why our Donna isn't more grateful. Most women would find you irresistible. Oh. Goody. <laughs> <laughs> If I'd just been three years younger, we'd probably have met round town. <laughs> three years? Yeah, that's when I were bad from most places. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? You want to feel attractive, don't you? Uh, I, I suppose. Well, your girlfriend's mother must be the biggest taboo. Well, that's... that's true. <laughs> you can't tell me you don't like it. <laughs> just, just... just don't think I'm allowed. <laughs> you can sniff my hair if you want. If, if, if you insist. Hello, Gary. Oh, shit! <laughs> Sniffing my mum's hair there. <laughs> and you, mum, fondling my boyfriend. Donna, I can... And you, you big lug, turning up early, tut tut. <laughs> you should know her by now, she'd shag Aberdeen. <laughs> <laughs> Your daughter's so cool, Mrs Henshaw. <laughs> As soon as I can afford it, I'm going to take her on holiday where there's loads of naked ladies, and she won't mind! <laughs> oh, God, Louise, I am so nervous. I really don't think I should get up. Oh, go on, you've got to. I mean, the last guy only did poems about orange. Yes. Who knew borange was a word? <laughs> This evening is going so well. A PhD in the exploitation of youth, here I come. <laughs> Janet, what do you have for me tonight? Uh, well, actually, Cameron, I don't think it's... Janet, you do know that public speaking is integral to student life. Is it? No. <laughs> but please go on, I've only got folk singers left. <laughs> oh. Good luck. Hold on. Johnny, she needed it. I would like to read you one or two of my poems. <laughs> Come to me, I am woman. Didn't Sue Pollard sing that? <clears throat> all the people, so many people, they all walk hand in hand. This isn't rustic, it's crap. All that she wants is another baby. He's gone tomorrow. Look, I'm face to face. So please, it's the future. The I want some more. I can't watch this. 
You big shower of bastards. A person comes up here for the first time, and what do you do? This is a human being. Or you, you students, yeah, you all prefer dolphins, don't you? Yeah, because they smile all the time and make clicky sounds when you throw the mackerel. <laughs> dolphins, right, dolphins make you feel better about your duffel coat wearing, couscous eating, we smoke weed because daddy said we shouldn't, sad little spooner of a life, bastard ass pissing moon white twat. <laughs> Well, thank you to Johnny there. Certainly gritty. I discovered him myself, you know. He farts. <laughs> oh, Johnny, good. Johnny, wait, look. I, I know that Janet's a failure, very disappointing, but you... I mean, what I'm trying to say is, would you like a regular slot? What? Well, you'd have to ditch the girlfriend because of the groupie potential, but uh, I'd buy you some whores. <laughs> <laughs> I really like the way we're going. I had no idea you liked canals so much. <laughs> no, I mean, I mean us, you know. No pettiness, no moodiness, it's just perfect. Mm. And, you know, if things keep going the way they're going, one day, if you're lucky enough, you could become Mrs Gaz. <laughs> Lovely. And seeing as though you've become so understanding, I think you should know the reason I had my top off in the pub was, was so all the sexy women would stroke me. Super duper. You're so great. Would you mind if I made a suggestion? No, I'd love it. Maybe you could wear skirts, you know, that leave less to the imagination, and then other men might be jealous of me. I wear clothes for comfort, love. No, and you can tell. You know, and, and, and what about your hair? You know, if, if I'm to make you perfect, I've got to admit that I've always loved Auburn. <laughs> what was it? Yeah. Do you fancy some sex? <laughs> no. How about a digestive? Yeah. <laughs> Stupid Johnny. Are you not stupid? Yes, I am. I hate question time and heart of the matter. Yeah, but you love Stephen Hawking. No, I just think he has a funny voice. <laughs> Never gonna learn how to have an intellectual discussion, though, am I? We have those. When? You usually after about eight pints of Stella. We're talking about life. Yeah, and death, and sex. And politics and religion. Mm, and bewitched. <laughs> I'm never going to learn how to become educated and demure, though, am I? Why would you want to do that? If you're educated and demure, it means you can't eat mashed potato butties and piss in the sink. <laughs> <laughs>